Hey guys, how's it going? We're going to install this Nest doorbell. So first thing you need to do is locate, if it's the wired doorbell, all your doorbell components. One, make sure you have this. Usually the light would be on, but it is currently off because we flicked off the breaker. You want to breaker panels usually in the garage, or you'll have one like this. If it's not labeled, flick them off one at a time, taking a pause to see that light go out. Once the light's out, you know that that was the right breaker. And then what you're going to be looking for is usually in a closet usually it's the actually the hall closet that's closest to the door will have a transformer like so that you should note and note the wire color it doesn't usually matter but it's still something to note because it is two different wires and then you should also have a chime like this so after you get that light to go you can go ahead and we'll have all our stuff listed i'll show you what goes where so once you go you download the nest app follow the instructions on how to do that then you'd add, add a product and then you'll see scan a code so what you would do is usually on the back of your next product like so you would scan that in right there as you can see here they want to make sure that you're all good so you can hit the compatibility checker and it'll go through here knock knock find out get started let's begin it'll check right here you would say yes Find your chime, ring your doorbell, and follow the ding dong sound. Many chimes are similar. Found it. Let's continue. We already know. And ours has uh, just wires only. Continue. Let's locate. Your chime is connected with a wire transformer. Do you know where your transformer is? So in my case, after looking, if you, I looked right in between the wires there, and if you look very closely there, it'll say 10 volts, 5 amps, it looks like v volt amps. So let's go here, back to here, and we'll click on VAC. If you have an older doorbell transformer and it's not going to work, remember if you, remember I mentioned this is a 10 volt 5 VA, well we need a 16 to 24 VA, so you would grab a new one, this one is made by Hath Zenic, and again, it's very simple. We're just going to be switching up these wires. Um, you're going to notice that one wire is going to be connected to the whites, and one is going to be connected to the black. So put white to white and black to black. This green one is a ground. So you'll see that they've just grounded it here against the box. So you can either just ground it against the box or find the screw it's going to, and you're going to hook it up to that one. So after you disconnect everything, you'll notice you have your two wires right here. And like I said, here's our ground. Our ground is really weirdly tucked in here, so I might actually um, separate this and then put my own on here because this looks like a dead moret on the current ground. So I'm going to probably redo that. Or actually, it might be right here under the drywall. Oh look, there it is. So I'll put our ground wire on here and then make sure if it's covered you clean it up but then black goes to black white goes to white stick this wire out because then we're going to connect that to here on a two wire system like this it's uh not too crucial but still take a picture and just put it in the same orientation as the old one i had to modify my plate so i could put this one on i also popped out a proper hole they had running through these little round holes these singular ones but they are sharp edged this is beveled so it won't cut the wire whereas those ones will so try and if you can put it through the bigger hole so once you get black to black white to white i know it looks kind of whitish but if i track this down it's actually black and then just try and pull on your wires do a pull test also when you're tightening them if they're tightening right you should see them twist around each other and that also gives them some uh, pull strength so once those are all twisted up and you're all good usually at least three to seven turns is good and then now we'll just mount this back up on here before we connect these last two wires here. So just put your plate back up if that's the setup you have. If you don't have that setup, you might have it in your electrical panel or somewhere else in your garage. But yeah, that's basically how it goes. Once you've got it like so, plugged in, now just mount it right up to there and let's get her going. Once that's mounted, you have those two wires on. So if you have a four wire doorbell system, you'll have to do exactly what the Nest tells you to do. But if you have a two wire doorbell system, it's super simple. All you're gonna do is you'll notice that, in this case, we just have these two white wires here. It might be moretted together. In this case, they're just right here. 
Um, and then we also have uh, two wires that are actually directly connected to our chime. So we know it's just a two wire system. So when it asks you, it's just asking about the ones that are connected. If you see them are red up here, don't worry about that. Doesn't matter. So once you get up over here, um, if it doesn't matter which wire you do this with, take the wire off of here, slip it in. We'll use the gray wire as an example. So take the wire off of here, slip it into the gray, and then take, after you slip it in here, like so, you just squeeze it in. After this is squeezed in, you take the gray wire that's coming out that doesn't have this clip on it, and you put it on here. So when you put it on here, now the gray that you, this wire that used to be here is now going through this chime and going back through this gray wire. So it's just a continuation circuit. Now let's use this white wire. So we took this one off of here, we slipped it into here, which is now this wire has become the white wire. So we took the other side of it, this white wire, and put it onto here and screwed it on. Now that that's ready to go, you're just gonna take this off, this is uh, peel off sticky, and just stick it on in here. And then after you put that sticky on and that sits in here, try and find a flat surface if you can. And then after this is in here, tuck this all in, you can put your cover back on. Next, take this off and then expose the two wires that are behind it. When you pop it out, you'll have this. Now the problem is, is if your doorbell is sideways like this one, then you might have to cut down a little bit and then cut the wood a little bit down to here so you can do it. And then what you're gonna end up having to do is, depending on how much your siding can slide, this one slides over quite a bit, we are gonna come over here, we're gonna mount the doorbell plate as close to this as we can, so that way it covers our hole. Because, yeah, we still need to get into the wood. If you don't wanna go into the wood, you could put something back here, like take a small piece of wood and tuck it in, and go from there, but we're just going to basically mount it to here, slide this over, mount it to here so we get this piece of wood, and call it a day because I know that there's wood right here and right here. But don't mount your doorbell sideways because we need it to be logo up. So when you do this, you'll see you have that wedge. Well, if you're going to be using the wedge so it comes into the doorway a little bit more, then what you're going to have to do is peel off the two pieces of plastic that's around the rim, put on the other side, and then when you do that, it'll give you the ability to do this. And then we can go into the wood. So once we've got this like this, we're going to peel off this cover, making sure that direction arrow is up because this has to slide onto it. And you can see nest is that way. So we're going to take that, uh, take this off, mount it. And then uh, after we mount this, we'll bring the, well, make sure you put the wires through too. So mount this over there a bit, but make sure that the wires are sticking out through this plate. So I'm going to take off the wires from this doorbell making sure that your power is still disconnected and we'll go through this. After you get that top screw in, just take your level and if you suck it right up, as you can see, there. Right there is level for me. Put in the next screw down. So afterwards, loosen these two screws, doesn't matter which, it's just a circuit breaker. So you're just plugging into here and here. The nest will automatically do the rest for you. And then you're gonna sink it into here. And then from there, after you get that in there, just tuck the wire in, and then this, with the nest symbol facing up, will clip into here. Go over, flip your breaker back on, and let's go and do the nest setup. As you can see, it says, hey, is that button blue? Yes, it is. Yes, it's blue. And then we just call it the front door. It's connecting because we have a hallway nest product and then that should connect to your eight there. So just let it do that. Oh, there it's connecting to our camera. We'll just wait for it to finish up. Setting up the Wi-Fi. Testing the Wi-Fi, setting up the Nest Network. Yeah, other than having that from the previous person putting the siding, it wasn't that bad, I have to say. Not so bad. Oh, and it's green. Finishing. This might take a while, so now it says it's added to the account. We'll press next. You should now have live video. You should now have live video. Huh. It's copying me. 
Next. Did you chime the sound all right? Oh, I'm going to stop this. I turned away from it, but uh, yes, as soon as I clicked on the chime button, I heard it chime. So we'll hit next. Uh, choose a language for quick response. We'll just say English. You're all set. Done. That's all there is to it.